Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to show you guys what's on my MacBook as a software engineering student in 2025. This is my M3 MacBook Pro, and I use it for literally everything, from working on schoolwork, coding personal projects, and building my startup. For me, what's important is having a setup that allows me to optimize my time and performance when working on tasks. In this video, I'm going to go over some applications that I think every software engineering student should have on their computer. The first application I recommend is Magnet. As someone who has an ultra-wide monitor, this is one that I can't live without. One thing that sucks about MacBooks is that they don't support auto-snapping of applications wherever you want on your screen like you can on Windows. Magnet allows you to customize exactly how you want to space out your applications with precise detail. Each one of these configurations has keyboard shortcuts that allow you to quickly set up your applications in the exact position you desire. Personally, I prefer having two-thirds of my ultra-wide screen being my code editor and the remaining one-third a web browser for research. This application allows me to do so quickly with the press of a keyboard shortcut. The second application is iTerm2. This is a great upgrade from macOS's built-in terminal. It allows for split pane view for terminal tabs, allowing you to see all your tabs on one screen, a feature I love to use since I can use my external monitor for programming and have one view of all my running terminals on my laptop. iTerm also has an instant replay feature that allows users to rewind their session in case they forgot to copy or wanted to review something. It has many different themes which make it smoother when dealing with lots of text on your terminal. It also allows you to set up your preferred LLM to have a built-in large language model in your terminal. iTerm allows you to modify every detail about your terminal and customize it exactly the way you want. Next up, we have VS Code. Now, this is an absolute go-to for software engineering students and is used by many in the industry. What's important to note is that at the end of the day, a code editor is a code editor. Whether you are used to using Visual Studio, a JetBrains IDE, or even NeoVim, each will have its own set of advantages and it comes down to personal preference. VS Code is the one I got the most comfortable with since it's what I used at my past three software engineering internships. What I love the most about VS Code is the number of useful extensions that make the development process all that much smoother. As you guys can see, I have amassed about 53 extensions over time from the different programming projects I have worked on. But here are my top ones that I'd recommend. Depending on your language of choice, there normally is an extension that allows for a better development environment suited for that language. So I recommend searching up the name of the language and downloading the extension that interests you. Next up is GitBlame, which is great when you're collaborating with many people on a product. It allows you to know when the line of code you're working on was last modified, by whom, and the commit related to that line. This is great to provide you with a greater scope and information about the file and the lines of code you're working on. LiveShare is great for collaborating with others and doing pair programming. It allows two users to participate in the same VS Code instance, so you can both work on the same file together. Another great addition to VS Code is the integration of Microsoft Copilot, which allows it to have full scope on all the files in your project. Next up, we have Postman, which is great for testing API endpoints and quickly making calls to your backend or database. Postman is a great addition to your setup for smoke testing and API development. Another great application in my setup is Notion. I use Notion for many things, from tracking my goals, taking notes in my classes, tracking my finances, keeping a to-do list, and even jotting down ideas for content creation, my startup, or random notes I want to keep. What's great about Notion is the amount of customizability they offer. You can structure your notes in any way, and they make it seamless to add tables and custom inputs. Notion has a great community of pre-built templates that make it easy to get started. Whether it's tracking habits, tracking your finances, making a schedule for your calendar, or taking notes for school. Finally, my go-to browser is Brave. I love Brave because it automatically blocks all ads and trackers from websites. This not only allows web pages to load faster, but also gives me an ad-free experience when I'm on the internet. I've been using it for a few years now and have no regrets. The developer tools console works very well since it's a Chromium based browser. However, I have been experimenting with the Arc browser recently and will keep you guys updated if I end up making the full switch. That's it for today's video guys, I hope you found my MacBook setup to be useful. Like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.